Welcome everyone, welcome back to The Witcher 3. We continue our journey today in Novigrad. And we go get to see Triss. So hopefully we actually get to find out a bit more about her. Um, we, we hardly really even know Triss at this point. We have met her. I came up here to Novigrad. I got a little bit ahead of myself um, before we finished the Bloody Baron quest line. But we, we went and finished that. And now we're actually up in Novigrad. And it is actually time to go try to find Triss's house. She like told us to meet her, so we are meeting her. Um, we also met Kira earlier, so hopefully she doesn't know about that. Um, doesn't seem like she'd be too happy. So, yeah. Find the dreamer in the old house. They possess the ability the name implies to divine the future or relive the past through dreams. Splain. Ah. Move. You gotta see Triss, come on. Where do I go? Oh. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merits, son. What? Don't hide them under a bushel. What is... Looking for Corinne? I'm looking for Corinne Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Corinne is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian, or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. Haunted house. What are the symptoms? Oh, th they vary. Giggling in the night. This reminding me of... furniture of moving Baldur's about Gate in West. the attic. And last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the parlor. Ew. Um, just haunted house in a big city. It's just reminding me of the artist quest in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Let's see. Is not this... interested in what's going on inside. Seeing it for yourself. This I'm is a banker. Not Triss's holding? Cursed home scare. What? What Do you I... know what how am I doing a haunting here? can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. Is she the dreamer person? I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. Truth is, we're already dependent on the Black Ones, economically. Huh. I just want to see Triss. Now we have to find people who dream. Okay, we're doing like a whole thing. It's all right. It's all right. We're doing it for her. She wanted help, right? Stop! Oh, go away! Leave it! Do you want to go quickly? It's Johnny. Wait, is that Johnny? Here's Johnny. No. It looked like it. Wake up. It's just a dream. Wake up. Is it just a dream, though? Johnny would explain the feces, yes. The doll. The attic. <sighs> the doll. Oh, good. It's always a cursed doll, isn't it? Mm-hmm. All right. Time to check the attic. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. There's a cow's milk? Like what? Oh, this is just... Okay. Stop. Where do I go? Don't do that. I don't know Leave where it. up is. I think 
think this is up. Okay, good. Okay, good. Way to the next room's blocked. now. Alright, I'll loot everything. Drawing of a crib. What? Paper on which a crib has been hastily drawn. By a child, it seems. There was a cradle on the second floor. Wonder what had happened if I laid a doll in it. Oh, there's the crib. Yep, there's what this was. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, Ard for breaking doors. I forgot. Uh, uh, another masterpiece an oven and a blackened grate. Oh, joy. A riddle. Guess I should find an oven. To the oven. Drawing of a bread hearth. What is this leading up to? Oh good. It's gonna be down here, huh? Anything else in here? Oh, there's an oven. Of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? So, do Sarah, that not Johnny. If I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake, neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer. So I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. Little Sarah wants to play. Um, I mean, yeah, I do. I do know what you are. We, we've had, we've had an encounter before. It does, yeah. No, explains the feces. Yeah, no, that's the yeah, accurate. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> you're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling. But others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these rays... Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was yeah, sitting there she's all empty. Haunting it. Okay. So I moved in. <laughs> Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. No gave bankers. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Let's make a deal. Yeah, let's make a deal. Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes? 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 
do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even Sounds a like a deal. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Oh. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Oh, Geralt. Geralt. Good day. Good day. This looks like... Oh, a way to the bits, maybe? Huh. That's interesting. Oh, here we go. Hello. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. Not the furniture. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. <laughs> the work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. Okay. See her there. That neckline? Oh, that's nothing after Kira. <laughs> yeah, what neckline? True. Okay, you have fun here, Sarah. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? Uh, I mean, I gotta hold up my end of the bargain. I gotta, I gotta hold up my end of the bargain. It's still haunted. A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. Yeah, he'll be fine. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. Yeah, he's okay. He can take the loss. <laughs> the truth is, we're already dependent on the black ones. Economically. Oh, with that? Yeah, that's okay. I'm not gonna sell out Sarah for some gold. Sarah's cool. I like the godly. I will help them. Okay, where are we going? Over here. I thought we were gonna see this again soon. Not yet. Do you like it here? We'll get there. Oh. Fine mess you made back there at Who's this guy? Lane. What's he want? A witcher? Oh, hear about the notice by chance? Uh, yeah, for sure. Indeed. Going on some voyage looking for a companion, right? Not just some voyage. Cross the sea. Oh. Mark this. When I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved Letta I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either, a black one, the rarest and yet. most precious. You well, well black pearl? ambitious. Perhaps, but they were empty words. I came from the war, that one and the next, but I never fulfilled my promise. I time to change that, for if not now, then when? Thing Fair. is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone. Need a strong shoulder to lean on. Which your shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? 
Uh... If I say yes, does this pull me, like, right to it? I'm assuming he's just gonna tell me to meet him somewhere, yeah? Hopefully. I don't want to just, like, tell him no. Like, I'll help him, but, like... Right? So, like, I'll help you. Plan's crazier than it is sane. But there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds yeah. fine. Perfect. See you there. Okay, so oh, we'll go meet him. Like everyone else. At some point. Cool. <coughs> He wants to lean on Geralt's shoulder, I mean... You know, maybe he does. One drink, all I had. He notices, you know, the strength. He's like, oh my. <laughs> Got any Gwent cards? What'll it be? Let's play. Just real quick. Not hungry, not thirsty, but I sure wouldn't mind a round of Gwent. In this city, racial hygiene's as poor as. Oh, what's happening in this place? Goodness me. Uh. I'm gonna swap her out so we can get something better. Yeah, so we got a 10. Perfect. What is that? Agile. Oh, it can go in either one. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Huh. There we go. Bye soon. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw that out there. Here, have your four points while you gave me zero goodness. Oh, that's kind of you to do that also. consider if I just want to pass on this round entirely and see how the other two rounds go. Right? Because I can use... Yeah, this looks like, right, the, like the best one. Yeah, Linkor, welcome! Don't dismantle swords. Okay, good to know. Um, okay, let's try that. I got them to pass too. Interesting. Okay. 
So now the question is, like, I guess I just, I have to put down this card. Oh, is that out of my Discord pile? I thought that was going to give me one of the spies. Never mind. I'm still figuring this out. That's okay. That's not a bad thing to do. Anyways, it's fine. Just probably not the best time. I thought that was going to be one of the spy. What is that? Oh, I should have used the decoy to do... Okay, that was what I needed to do. Okay, all right, all right. Oh, but you can't decoy the hero cards. Oh... Okay, okay, I'm learning a lot. Okay, we're getting there. Um, let's just grab... Yeah, let's go with that. That's fine. You get Medic the Hero cards. That makes sense. I did not realize. Of course, you have a clear weather or whatever. Um. Okay. I do now. All right, do I do quite like the medic? Let's use the medic again, right? I think I just put the medic back. Pass. You say pass. Okay. Okay. So now we're down to it. Interesting. All right, we can pull this off. We can do this. What is that? Plus one to all units in the row. Okay. I'm just gonna start. Medic another like siege. Yeah, okay, let's let's go for it. Like Yeah. Doesn't really matter which one, like sure. Catapult. Okay. 
still not like always like super confident with this game, but we're, we're getting there. I'm learning. We're winning a lot more than we're losing, so that's good news. All right, like this is it. Cool. Nice. Did we get a genie card? No, I'm not from here. Oh no, we did. We got hygiene. something. Nice. Okay, all right. Quick save. <laughs> I like the medics. Oh, please. Oh, dear. I just want to see Triss. Oh, hello. A dream in here. Do you? Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. Oh. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. Okay, right to it. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Uh. Okay. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions. Try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? This reminds I me don't. of clouds. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. Cyberpunk. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Okay, uh, here we go. I don't know what to expect. Let's begin. But to right. start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, oh. most complete memory you have. Oh, oh. Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I want to say that. That sounds interesting. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Oh, Never damn. lay dying as well. Oh, damn. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. It was the last time I saw her. Is there anything you'd like to add? Oh. Another memory, perhaps? Yes. Yes. I want more. There's something else. More. All right. Tell me no more than you wish to. I accepted a job once, did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon forest. Happened on a girl there, didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the waters of oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then, but already I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yeah, more. Yes. No need to rush. We have time. Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose, she lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day. 
wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. <laughs> Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Yep, might as well tell them all. Like, we're going through them. Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. I told her never to try it again. Hmm. The first time? Yeah. <laughs> you claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. Yeah, we know about the Elder Blood. I'm gonna say that. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker? The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No when a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. Mm-hmm. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah? Yeah. There's something else. I remember Siri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Siri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? I want to hear it all. Yeah, there's something else. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she... travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. Okay. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Dandelion. Oh, so that's like the that's the bard guy, right? Who's supposed to be um the guy in the show? Uh or Yennefer and Triss. I would assume she would look for Yennefer and Triss. I don't really know. Yennefer wasn't in Novigrad. Triss was, but Ciri never found her. Maybe Dandelion? They liked each other a lot.
swallow. That's the swallow. Huh. Game's been great. <sighs> Dreamt of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Ciri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet. Mm. Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. The Rosemary and Time? Where's that? As you enter the city through the Red Light District, you come upon a bridge. The Rosemary is just past it. Hmm. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Ah. Uh. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Yes. Okay, goodbye, I guess. Interesting. Well, that's cool. Ah! Oh, oh, this place. Oh, we're familiar with this place. I'll never come back, you stinking This is where my stash is. Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. In the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? The local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. All right, here we go. Come on! Come on! He killed him! Flowey freak! Oh, reminds me of our days of yore. Yeah, it's almost like you never left Bergen. Get him, get him, get him! Get him. Get him. Anyone else? Nope. I'm pleased. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods ordained. Aegis, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian lagers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. Um, yeah, Siri. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh. Not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem then. Uh, okay, so what's Where's the problem? Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. What does that mean? I just barely returned, as you saw. I'm expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar and some cold ale. What do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone. The tavern chock full of bums. I've no clue what happened. Hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Okay. Let's look around. What can we find? Babing its neck. Okay. okay. Your dexterous digits and my soul's I yearning cords. When will you return to Sedaris? I hope it will be soon, for I miss you terribly. 
Waiting to see you again literally pains me. If you are to come, send me a message beforehand. I'll ask my mistress for a day off. Hmm. That's leaving, right? Yeah. Hmm. Ten barrels of Tucson dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! Is that code? It says planner! Huh. Dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. Mm -hmm. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late. The dog. Huh. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that could help. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Soon, ah, right. Okay, cool. I'll ask the lassies in my half. You interrogate the ones in yours. Should you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Okay. I'm gonna read the planner. Yeah, we'll see her soon, right? Yeah, she told us to meet her soon, so I figured that will pop up for us. Okay, read the planner. I was hoping that would pop up for me also, but no. Fine. Rosa Var Artre. Or something. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She stunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Molly, though she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Oh my. Though timid in looks, no adventure did skip her. My heart melts when she has ever had a big difference. What is this? What am I reading? <laughs> um, okay, so how does that help us? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hauled something off the corner. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Um, yeah, let's ask about them all. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly. Keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects. Examines it from all perspectives. Hmm. Okay, let's see what else we find out. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. <laughs> she didn't half of it. Called him her stallion once. Uh... 
That's the fool trigger as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins of her cupboard. Oh? <laughs> Poor bastard fled out the window. Uh, okay. Um, do I need to know more? Uh, do I need to know more? Uh, okay. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Okay, just continue. Miss Bula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. A pheasant. Okay. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs, what Rosa Var Atre named her Guhir. Well chosen, eh? All right. <laughs> but Var Atra? Her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador? He is. You know him? Wouldn't say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, then you've a good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? Well, then one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. Okay. All right, last one, last one. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well, seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one then? Nah, you can have her. Okay. Why? Why? You see, uh... elven beauty is like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka straight up. Okay. Yep, I know far more than I want to know. Thank you. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. All right. Let's look around town. To the map. So... Yeah, we'll start here. That's fine. This is gonna be an interesting quest. Hmm. Cannot save. Okay, fine. Oh dear. I will get my lost copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! Excuse me? What you all are in for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Ha! <laughs> Geralt, yes. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. Vespula's got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? The King of Beggars? Let's try. See what happens. The King of Beggars made a deal with Junior. This is his turf now. Didn't hear nothing about that. But you have heard what Bedlam does to people who cross him. Or you need a demonstration? Come on, Fritz. Boss wants it that way. It's how it's gotta be. Okay. Oh. Ah! Look at us go! Thank you. Oh, thank you! To think there are men who'll help a stranger out of the kindness of their hearts! Well... Not entirely out of kindness. And you're not entirely a stranger. What are you... Oh, I know you. You're that witcher took Dandelion out whoring. <laughs> Gerald, right? <laughs> Gerald. No. Uh, we did what? Not Gerald. Geralt. Oh. 
Dreadful sorry. <laughs> Explain something if you don't mind. You say I took Dandelion out whoring. So he said. Claimed I was his one and only. But he fell in with the wrong folk. You and that dwarf who always looks like a cow licked him. Said you two were <laughs> a bad example. Wine, women, Oh, song. really? He picked that habit up from us too. Gotta have a word with him. Ha! <laughs> All Geralt's fault. What do you think? Where could Dandelion be? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. It, okay. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back saying it was till death do we part this time. And uh -oh. no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside uh -oh. strolling with some trollop on his arm. Uh oh, not a trollop. The last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Huh? Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. Well, that sounds like a lead. This General. woman he was with in the harbor. See what happens. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covir. Ha! <laughs> Horvir, more likely. <laughs> Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Huh. Okay. Thanks for your help. Are Listen. We? When I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. Oh, no. Oh, no. If it oh, no. Reek. Dandelion. <laughs> oh, goodness. <coughs> Why did we drop frames all of a sudden? There we go. <laughs> you know, game is going pretty well so far. I... <laughs> I'm having a great time, I'll tell you that much. Alright, next up. <laughs> Gerald, yep, that's good. Ah, it's good. Humans, humans. It's like, I hate him, but I miss him. <laughs> oh no. Stop staring at the kids, you're scaring them. Welcome, welcome, Duke. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Elihal. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Uh, Need something shortened? Taylor? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Elihal? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, uh, I thought... Thought Elihal was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, uh, oh, so it's that. Wait here. So it's that. What? Oh. Wait. Any oh. better? Oh. oh. So you're. Fair enough. Elihow. Did you and Dandelion. I mean. How did you two meet? <laughs> I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. <laughs> Do tell. Spill the tea. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not That's sure it. what you're getting at, but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Oh? Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. Oh? We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer uh. afterwards. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, when did you see him last? Dandelion Love visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Huh. Yeah, no, he's... he's... 
He knows what he's doing. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, mm. he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him Accent recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. Yes. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. That's good. Okay. That's that's good. That's good. <laughs> I know this is none of my business, but why do you why do I dress up? As a child. I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. A what? I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian countess one day, a dockside thug the next. That is true freedom. Oh, sheep, sheep, mm -hmm. oh. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I don't know if it's that boring. I managed to stay interested. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's that boring. It's kind of sweet. Like. <laughs> ah. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Okay. Uh, well, what do you have for sale? Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Absolutely. Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Oh, my. Quest items, huh? Elegant mask for a masquerade ball? I don't know. I'm buying them all. Yeah. So, fancy armors if we want to walk around and look fancy. Hmm. That's okay. We won't sacrifice our armor for fanciness today. Perhaps tomorrow. So long. <laughs> okay. Uh, where to next, I wonder? Me to go here. Let's go. But you think no story. God knows I'm streaming. Uh oh. Right. <laughs> course, those the ones <laughs> the first. Okay, I'm mainly wanting to meet Triss and Yennefer because I don't really know them very well. I gotta see. Hello there. Excuse me. I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside. Class is in session. For some reason, I felt like her face looked like Sigourney Weaver's face or something when she was younger. I don't know why. I don't even think they... I don't know. Um. Wait outside. Fine. Fine. Let the children get their education. I'll wait. It won't take long. It turns out he'll not come after all. Okay, well, now I want to hear. A rat bit him, and he's caught a fever. Where'd he get bit? It hurt him much. Will he die? You don't die from rats, stupid. Yes, you do. Just the other day, I saw a witch hunter tell a man, you rat, and then he killed him. <laughs> Liar, that's enough. You rat, and then he We're killed him. The day. Gather your things and go home. Some donations. Will get well. Like as not. How do you know? Mum says that if he but catches a cough, he's as My good as in the grave. My dad is a witch hunter. He chases old crows. Well, hello there. Now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I didn't lose. I, I was just you looking. I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh, yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems. No. 
We peruse the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Oh no. Permanently. Oh no. Uh... <laughs> oh no. Take their school supplies. You know, I was just... I was just looking. They didn't have anything I wanted anyways. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Hmm, well, uh... Found a poem Dandelion wrote about you. Portrayed you as an unusually talented individual. Really? Did he mention my poetry? Horses have always fascinated me. I've always longed to extol their noble beauty. Did you see any of my work at Dandelions? Mere exercises, true, but I'd be curious to know what you thought of them. Uh, no, no. Didn't see any. Gee up. A snakely whip rose skyward. Oh, Gee haw, crack! Easy. She reined the beast what? in. The stallion danced betwixt her thighs. Lather bathed its chinny chin chin. Sorry, don't know much about poetry. It's constant. <laughs> oh no. Thanks for your help. Farewell. Okay, so not much here. Okay. Anything else? Diary of a Fire Swallower? I was at Loch Muin? That's right, the summit of summits itself. We'd gone there, my troopmates and I, knowing there'd be a meeting of the mighty in the ruins. You see, whenever big shots gather to chew some particularly grisly fat, there's coin to be had for performing men like us. Tired jaws need to relax with some laughing and indulging in other sorts of simple delights. I learned this as a lad from my old man, who dragged me around to juggle outside courts and conventions all over the continent. And so now, plying my own trade as a fire swallower, I told the lads up soon as, caught a, as I caught word of what was brewing in Loch Muin, and we turned our wagons that away at once. I'm not much one for politics, but I couldn't help but listen to some of it this time. You see, we Tamarians had just lost our king, and future was to be decided at that very summit, with John Natalis representing our side of the matter. Radovid was there too, a young pup then, though emanating strength like a grey-haired alpha wolf. It seemed this wolf was licking his chops over Tamaria like it was a ripe bit of carrion. The rest was dull, a lot of talk about the uprising in Erdin and its leader, Saskia, who they called the Virgin, though I never got the chance to check personally whether that was accurate. The Nilfgaardians had a delegate, some Schillard fellow, and mages were there talking about restoring the Conclave and Supreme Council of Sorcerers. Well, I didn't listen to much of that. My eyes were glued to the unusually large number of armed troops present at these peaceful talks. Steel-plated grunts clenched pointy weapons and paced the ruins' courtyards everywhere you looked. Radovid had even brought the knightly order of the Flaming Rose, those arrogant pricks ready to bash anyone who doesn't think the same as them. Though the coin was coming in amply, we didn't wait around to see how things would develop. Just loaded our stuff onto our wagon and left at a trot. As we mounted the pass, we looked back to see pillars of smoke, black as pitch, rising above Loch Muin. Hmm. Usually the lore books nearby tend to be relevant. Not always. Dum, Usually. Dum, 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 dum. Yes, Page the Witcher, indeed. This Baronet's love Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is right now. Be gone. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep. Surely this is no chance encounter? Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistake in you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette, an Imperial General and a Witcher meet. And know each other. Surprising. Hmm. 
Yeah, we had an opportunity to, uh, talk when the Emperor summoned me to Vizima. Had you run afoul of Var Emrys? No. You'd be long dead if that were so. It seems, then, that you share some interest. Yes. But see? I shan't question you out of doors. Will you accept my invitation? Tell me what brings you here. Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maidservant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbud. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that ah. something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? Okay. Sure. Well, if Molly will be there. On our way, then. Oh, does the mission with Letho change to Witcher 2 music? That's cool. Yeah, poor Geralt is, uh, he's getting to know the town pretty personally. Huh. Goodness. Long loading screen. Great to have you guys here, though. Welcome. The Begelbud's estate, a few hours later. We've arrived. My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? Yes. I guess so. Called every horse I've had Roach. The Grey Mare is Cantarella, He's not sired impressed. by Cahir, the champion from Vold. Grey's a nice color for horses, too. My coin's on the Black Stallion, Nemrod, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Mm. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. <laughs> So sassy. Like, what? <laughs> the best welcome, welcome, everyone. Huh. Oh, I'm having a great time. Absolutely. Know anything about the chestnut or the bay? The chestnut is Thunderbolt, a pure blood Retanian, gallant steed, but too headstrong for my taste, difficult to control. And the bay hails from Zericania. Lord de Volta acquired him recently. I know little about him, though Zericanians are reputed to have incredible stamina. Okay, how about Molly? Is Molly a horse? Pardon? I did come here to see Molly after Pardon? all. Pardon? Patience, Witcher. She ought to arrive soon. I asked Molly to join us as soon as she was done yeah, with I didn't her chores. That. That's fine. She shouldn't be long now. <laughs> all depends what you asked her to do, my lady. But I don't really have a choice. I'll wait. Ha! Okay, Geralt. Seem to know your horses. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what. Win, and I shall give you my finest saddle, made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Okay. Yeah, no, I'll race. I'm racing. Why not? I want the saddle. Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Gotta keep well it said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher? Oh, I choose? Oh. Cantarella, I think, was the gray one, right? I think Geralt liked the the gray horse. I didn't pay that close of attention to their names. I think, yeah, I'll take I'll take Cantarella, right? I think that was the gray one. I hope so. The gray mare looks yes. nimble. Besides, knew a man named Kai here once. I'll go with her. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet on a steed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. In that case, I shall try my luck on the Zeracanian Bay. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. All right, see how this goes. My usual go-to for these races is uh, cut them off. Riders ready! I 
Spend all the speed. Go, Rushing go. All right. So I've got to just kind of stay ahead. Got to keep an eye out on the horse stamina there. That's the main thing that gets us is when all of a sudden we all run out of stamina. Okay, here and behind me. Okay, so we're out of stamina. Don't spare the horse! Let's see what you made of. Gonna go. Don't spare the horse. It is a fast horse. <laughs> ha! Ha! What a thrill! Get wrecked. A beautiful victory. Thanks. For one for whom every horse is a roach, you carry yourself exquisitely in the saddle. <laughs> My congratulations. That is For one is for yours. whom every horse is a roach. <laughs> now, could I talk to your chambermaid, lady? Ah, yes, Molly. That is why you came here, after all. The portly young woman. That's her. Speak to her. And you must find us when you're ready to return to Novigrad. We'd be delighted to join you for the journey. Horse games? I will win. Now that Watch out. In from Tamaria. I'm Molly, my lord. Wish to see me? Call me Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelions rescued time and time again? Um... Yeah... Yeah. Um. Uh. <laughs> do I cover for him? Uh. I'll cover for him. Let's see what happens. Mm hmm. Wouldn't be here if not for Dandelion. Told me all about <laughs> your adventures. How he'd ready you for battle with his songs. How he tamed the Kairon by playing his lute. I meant that literally. Dandelion's why I'm here. Came to ask you about him. Know where he might be. No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says dandelions are good for nothing layabout. Can you imagine? But... <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. Um... Sister. What, what's the last conversation? Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. Said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles. And he'd sing me arias. I've not seen him since. Oh no. Uh. Yeah, I wish the races were a little more engaging. I do wish maybe there were like some different difficulty levels or something. I could see that. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde for starters. Yeah. Maybe they're different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. Maybe. But you can see he cares for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. Thanks, Molly. Uh, wait. Before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks. And good luck to you on your search. Well, okay. 
Go, Geralt. No. How do I get up here? I'm ready to go. Ah, Geralt, there we go. There you are. <laughs> Shall we return together? Um, yes. Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter Pretty with friendly. some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. So fancy. Geralt's out and about with company? Yes, teleportation through dialogue. I was hoping it would work. <laughs> and here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. Just this morning, my Twitter came back from the market sir. with news. Yes? Some mysterious murders happening All in right, some houses. All right, now we go talk to Rosa. What do you want? Uh, okay, so it's giving me options here. So I'm assuming saying that we're looking for Rosa is not the move. I'm the new cook. I'd say that's probably not very believable. Sword, sword play instructor. Rosavar Atra is expecting me. Supposed to give her lessons in sword play. Come with me. Miss Rosa awaits. Hey, it worked. Why don't you realize what you've got yourself into? Oh, so too. If you show up in like a chef outfit, right can you convince them? them? Shows no mercy once she grip. <laughs> Grab a wooden one. Take care not to hurt the little miss. Or you'll earn the ambassadors. Follow me. <laughs> no wonder if you like found a chef outfit if they would let you be the cook. <laughs> You're my new instructor. Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood to start with. I must know your worth. Oh, oh, look at us. Oh, fancy. No armor necessary. Beat Rosa. I like how that's the the thing. Beat Rosa. Oh no. Poor Rosa. Poor Rosa. I mean, she's here to learn, so I better teach her. When you can barely handle one. What do you mean I can barely handle one? Well fought. You're much better than the last. Not Geralt's neckline. I'm not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? Guards let me in. No, I'm a witcher. Hello. I'm a witcher. I'm looking A witcher? That's splendid. She's like, I Sweet. always wanted to meet a witcher. This is so exciting. <laughs> Happy day. <laughs> um, yep. Incredibly. Incredibly. We ought to discuss that another time. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Oh. Maybe he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Oh, oh, oh my. Okay, rematch. We're no longer Gerald. He's now actually fighting us. He's fighting Geralt, not Gerald anymore. Right. <laughs> Stop flaunting and fight. Okay, how much do you want? Okay. Didn't I already? Ooh. Ah. 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 Ratchet, you're quick. 
why bother with two swords when you can barely handle one? Still more? Her health bar, though. Okay, well. Damn it! Yep. Well, if you're not an instructor, you should certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? What does that mean? What does that mean? Just lessons, right? Just lessons. I will teach you. Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds oh. <laughs> whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Oh. Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind. Edna Va'atra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Uh, did, uh... Greatest mischief maker? What? Wait a minute. Mean to say Dandelion mixed you two up? On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. The Rosa, aging bard? I had the best no. of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. Oh. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Ah. Okay, okay, take it easy. Take it easy. Calm down, ladies. No poets worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. <laughs> Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Oh, can't have too much flattery. Dandelion act any different lately? Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored, she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna! What? You needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. Unusual even for Dandelion. We set out to visit the graves of celebrated Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about Margrave Henkel. Who? Eccentric old coot. Died recently. He'd apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. Okay. Bet sophisticated young ladies like you know a bunch about politics. We've picked up a few things. What would you like to know? Oh, we're just asking them just about politics, just not even related to the okay. <laughs> what? Emperor continuing to push north. Courtiers okay. must be ecstatic. His confidants must be. But Papa says that's not likely to last much longer. Why not? Papa says the war's disrupting trade, and people are tired of financing the Emperor's adventures. Changing subjects. Who Dandelions sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This mm -hmm. woman, not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Okay. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. No sword lessons? Well, oh, can yes. I expect any more <laughs> lessons in future? I did offer to teach her where and when. Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. Okay, that's house here tomorrow. Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. Oh my! <laughs> uh, I 
don't know what that means exactly, but uh, oh my. Oh yeah, no, I literally have a quest to give her fencing lessons tomorrow. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> yes, we'll have to do that. Okay, well, um... Okay, let me read this. Geralt had learned from the dreamer Corinne Tilly that Ciri contacted me while in Novigrad. He thus made his way to Rosemary in Time, a charming establishment which I had inherited from an ad admirer of my poetry, for he, quite rationally, expected to find me there. His search for Ciri seemed closer to a happy conclusion than ever before. Alas, fate had raised his hopes only to dash them cruelly back to the ground. Geralt did not find me at my proprietorship. His despair was partially lifted when he came across our old friend, Zoltan Chevet, but the dwarf had just returned from a long journey and knew nothing of my fate or that of Ciri. Concern wrinkling his brow, Zoltan helped Geralt search every corner of the establishment for clues about where I might be. Other than a few triflings, all they found was a planner containing notes about the women I had met with days in the days prior to my disappearance. They divided the names between them and ventured into the city to find the women and ask what they know. Geralt conversed with the ladies whose company I had recently graced. Though each had fond memories of these encounters, none knew where I might be now. Geralt gleaned from their stories that there was one person who might know more, a famous and talented Trobaeritz named Priscilla. It so happened that this ravishing starlet was, in sta was still in town and performing every night at the Kingfisher Inn. Like it or not, the Witcher was in for an evening of fine culture, at the end of which he hoped to take the artist aside for a serious chat. Okay, well, let's give her some fencing lessons tomorrow. <laughs> Sick. Sick, you Sick of it. Monsieur Zoltan, the old bum. What's this? Definitely be doing the expansions, absolutely. Of water. Naughty bum. No I repeat. I wish more places were open like late night. Crackers. What is he? Oh, he's talking to this bird? Savory crackers? What is this? <laughs> I like your owl. Ah, you're back. You met Poppy? She ought to start talking any day now. I don't like the blinder things. He's an owl, not a parrot. Yeah, what? Uh. Zoltan. Venture to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure, you know me that well. Mark my words, she'll be playing Gwent with us in no time. But we want to talk about dandelion. I have questions. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Uh, guess so. Women on my list hadn't seen dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently, named Kellanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Why wasn't she on the list? Mm, this Priscilla wasn't like the others. I think Dandelion more than fancied her. I think it was fair for her. He lusts after every other woman he meets. How can I explain? Who does Dandelion love most? Himself. Exactly. And she's his mirror image. Oh. Okay. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more? Laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. You mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Yes. Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Okay. Well, we technically have a mission. Let's go pick up that side quest and stuff first, probably. Oh, All right, this guy was calling me out. What's he want? Yeah. What do you want? Got the courage to repeat that slander to my face? Readily. 
You are a mutant, a freak, a useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch. Uh, yeah, how many people's lives have you saved, hmm? How many people's lives have you saved? From Brooksay, from Leshens? That has no bearing. It has none? you a question, how many? <laughs> There's something to think about, folks. <laughs> Preacher's fierce in the mouth, but all are at him and his tail slicks between his legs. <laughs> Come on, people. Oh, damn. He doesn't have anything to say. He didn't have... <laughs> okay, Carol, just destroy him. Yes. Here we go. Ah, here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. Suspense. Twisted, stormy, or violet. Eyes. So my 
question is like, who wrote this song? Because it sounds like it's about Yennefer and then they're mentioning like the wolf and everything. Like, yeah. Wow, very pretty. Okay, Priscilla. We're focusing on the loot. Yeah, come on. Come on. Oh, the slow clap. Oh, the slow clap. Woo! I know him! Twas him murdered some Tamarian boys back at White Orchard. What are you talking about? Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. I didn't murder anyone. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Indecency. Geralt... Indecency. He risked his noggin to save someone else's arse. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Yeah, well, were they Don't murdering? Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. Hello there. I wish to listen to music. Music! Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Permit me to introduce... Uh, this here's Priscilla, known also as Calanetta. As lovely as she is talented. And this... Is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Oh, getting called. Yep, Dandelion, he, he told all, huh? Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. That's so weird. No, Come with me. Yeah, I was going to say, that sounds like she doesn't want people to hear. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw the heist, Siggy Reuven's vault. Sheeped up. And I've not seen him since. Uh-oh. What does that mean? Reuven. Why is he heisting? What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Okay. Uh, okay. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. Yeah, what? Well. True. Forgot to pay for his wedding to pass the floor once. And laid awake the next three nights worrying about it. <laughs> Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This yeah. someone, Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Ah. <laughs> Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair, then for town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan, but what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Varet, beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. Mm. We'll help. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Whoever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. 
Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well, All right. She seems all to care. To here. Heading back to the Rosemary. Got Poppy to feed. And then I suppose I'll wait. See if our warbler don't come home on his own. Take care now. Letter to Dandelion. Level 15, hey! That's huge. Let me see. Will it pop up the, the books? Is the stream acting up? Okay, let me just finish this up and we'll we'll call it here. Um, okay, best Jerry might be a thing. My dearest dandelion, since you told me of your plan to rob the city's kings of crime, I can think of nothing else. Several times I've wished to talk to you, to drive this mad notion from your head, but you are never at the Rosemary in time when I visit. I hope the lesser evil is true and you are busy preparing for the heist and not avoiding for me. I believe, I want to believe that this entire matter is about something more than mere gold. Hmm, she's just worried about him. That's the point. All right, get me out of here. Okay, this is a perfect stopping point. So we are at a nice place where we got to go do like a whole thing there. Even when we come back, we're probably going to start with some of these side quests that we have. We've picked up a good amount around the city and uh, I think there was one for us. Oh, that. Give Rosa some fencing lessons today. <laughs> All right. Good spot to call it. Thank you guys for joining me on this wonderful journey of the game. It's been a great time. The song was great. Yes, we had a lot of fun today. So we accomplished a lot and we got to learn a lot about Dandelion too. 